Reagan and I'm here today with an incredibly exciting video. Today I'm going to be talking about my Reading Rush TBR. Now, you might not know this about me, but the Reading Rush readathon that happens every summer has eluded me for so many years and it's been so sad because I love one, a readathon, and two, I love to participate in readathons, especially this one because I think it's really fun, brings the community together, etc, etc. But I have not been able to participate um, for the past three years because I have been moving every year for those three years. This is the first time in my life for the past five years I'm not moving at the end of summer and I could not tell you how excited I am about that. But what I'm most excited about is that it means I can participate in this readathon to my fullest ability, so I'm gonna. Extra exciting thing about this readathon is I'm actually a host, which is really fun. So I'm going to be doing Twitter sprints. I'm going to be having a video challenge. So be sure to follow the Reading Rush YouTube channel if you're interested in more information. And the last vital piece of information I feel like I should provide before I jump into the TBR are the dates. The readathon is going from July 22nd to July 28th. Monday to Sunday that whole week. So if you're able to participate in any way, feel free to join in. You don't need to make a video, but if you want to make a video of your TBR, please do. I would love to see it, but I personally have always liked readathons. I think it's like a low pressure way to try to encourage uh, to read as much as possible. So that's why I like to participate. But without further ado, let's dive into my TBR. Now, if you're not familiar with the Reading Rush Readathon, there are challenges you can choose to participate in with your TBR. Basically, there are a set of things that you can try to fit and cater your books into. You do not need to pick one book per challenge. I personally am not able to read seven books in one week. I work full time. It's just not going to happen. It's just not as much as I would like for it to happen. I'm just not a person that's able to do that. So I have multiple books covering multiple of the challenges, but you also can just pick and choose which challenges interest you or do not at all. There's no pressure here. It's all about a good time, but let's actually now officially jump into the TBR. <laughs> so the first challenge is to read a book with purple on the cover. This could be a lot of purple or a little bit of a purple. I went for Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by JK Rowling. I'm really wanting to start a reread of Harry Potter, so I felt like this book would be perfect for a readathon. One, because it's shorter and I feel like I could get kind of motivation from it. Two, there's lots of purple in it, and I also just feel like it'll be a very comforting read, something that I'll definitely fly through. And I also have the illustrated edition on hand, which I also feel like I'm going to kind of switch back and forth between because I love those dang illustrated editions. But yeah, I decided to pick this for the readathon because I've been wanting to read it, and it fit perfectly for a few of the challenges for this readathon. So I said, aha! Yes. Next challenge is to read a book, a whole book, in the same place during the readathon. Now you can definitely get up off of this place, but basically it's like if you have a reading nook or a chair that you really like to read from, try to read one book from start to finish uh, in this particular place. Luckily for me, in a small New York City apartment, there's really only two places in which I read, and one of them I definitely will probably read all of the books from, so I'll cut to it right now. And that's the spot. Right there. Matilda also loves that spot, but gonna get all the reading done. But that is the place I will read one of these, if not all of these books. It's like my favorite place. It's Matilda's favorite place too. We're constantly battling over it. Next challenge for this readathon TBR is to pick a book that you meant to read last year. As someone who is a bit of a book hoarder like me, this is most of my TBR is what I meant to read last year, but I was able to narrow it down to one selection. And I decided to go with Muse of Nightmares by Lady Taylor, another purple book. So if anything, if I'm not able to get to any other book but this book, I will have at least completed three possible challenges. Uh, but this is a book that I feel like has been haunting me. Ironic because it says nightmare, but it has been in my nightmares because I have been wanting and planning to read this book for years. I read Strange the Dreamer, loved every second of it, was planning on picking this right up when it came out. It just did not happen and it's just been kind of moving month to month with me continually failing to read this book. So I felt like with this question, it felt like a perfect opportunity to try and pick up this book during this week. I know once I start it, I will love it. Lady Taylor's writing is absolutely gripping and beautiful. This particular story basically follows a town called the City of Weep. And this is a city that no one has seen, heard, or talked about in a very long time. In fact, the name Weep is not its original name. It's lost that within the sands of time and history. 
Um, but basically we follow one of our main characters who is a librarian and he is a scholar of the city and an envoy one day comes and is basically looking for exceptional individuals to try to heal the city and kind of solve its problem. And uh, this librarian goes with this caravan and he kind of enters the city. There he's kind of swept up in all the politics. It's a beautiful tale of multiple perspectives, but mostly kind of looking at, it shows how wounds of hatred can kind of fester over time and how difficult it can be to heal those no matter how much you might want to. Anyway, again, loved the first one so much, so I'm hoping to pick up the sequel during this readathon. Question four is read an author's first book, and now I'm pretty sure this is her first book, so I'm really sorry if it's not, but I have Wicked Fox by Kat Cho, and this recently came out and it really has caught my eye. Another like purpley pink book, so I guess I'm just only reading purple books for this uh, readathon. I obviously don't know too much about this, but I hear this is a really intriguing, angsty YA fantasy paranormal story set in modern day Seoul, Korea which sounds really, really cool. Early reviews are super positive, so I thought it might be a really good book to pick up during this readathon. Um, I don't know. I'm hoping it's a really fast read. I don't really know anything else about it. I don't particularly want to know, but I do believe this is this author's debut. So excited to read this. Challenge number five is to read a book with a non-human main character. Luckily for me, I think all of these books might actually apply to that challenge. So if I'm able to finish one of them, I think, hopefully, I don't know for sure about Wicked Fox, but Fox is in the title, so I'm hoping somebody is actually a fox, but to be determined on that. But I think these other two will definitely be able to supply a non-human character that has, you know, quite a bit of page time because, you know, fantasy happens to make that happen a lot. The next challenge is to pick a book with five or more words in the title. And again, I'm gonna be using Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by JK Rowling. One, two, three, four, five, six words within this title and they said the does count, so I'm using it. Uh, but yeah, again, trying to use multiple books for multiple challenges because I want to try to read as much as I can, but I'm not making myself a seven book TBR, but excited to read Harry Potter, definitely. And the very last question is to read and watch a book to movie adaptation and you guessed it, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone also very nicely falls into this challenge as well. So this is hopefully gonna tick that box for me on that challenge. And the very last challenge that you guys could do is try to read seven books. This is not an official challenge as it's a lot of pressure, but if you are interested in trying to read seven books, like, like each one fits into one of those challenges, go for it. I will be like cheering you on from the sidelines because you will impress me to no end. But anyway, guys, that is my TBR for the Reading Rush Readathon. I will have links to everything down below. And again, I hope you're able to participate. I'm super excited and will be trying to vlog my whole reading experience. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon with another one soon. Goodbye.